New details this morning in a Target 12 consumer investigation, guardrail dangers. We reveal some potential safety concerns involving a guardrail system that covers thousands of miles of roads nationwide, including in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Our own Susan Hogan spoke exclusively to a man who lost both of his legs after hitting one of those guardrails. She joins us now with that interview and the new details. It's only been four months since this accident, and Jay Trailer says although he is healing, the images of that day will never fade. Orange County 911, Captain McPherson. Where are you? We're here to get somebody out of here quick. I'm counting the blazing. It was then that Jay Trailer's life changed forever. As he was driving to his home in North Carolina, Jay says he fell asleep at the wheel. And uh, when I came to, that, that guardrail was coming through the floor pan of the Isuzu Trooper that I was driving. According to a lawsuit filed on behalf of Trailer, the guardrail and end terminal penetrated through the driver's side floorboard, impaling Trailer and causing massive injuries. It literally took the wallet right out of my back pocket and threw it 20 foot out the back window. As a result, Trailer is now a double amputee. The lawsuit claims the guardrail Trailer hit was defective and unreasonably dangerous. And because of this, it didn't perform as intended. That guardrail, according to court documents, is manufactured by Trinity Industries, based in Dallas, Texas. These are needless tragedies. Trailer's lawyer, Stephen Lawrence, represents several victims who claim they were seriously injured after hitting a Trinity guardrail and terminal, just like the one Jay hit. Hopefully, other people like you and others will get the word out and that this problem will be addressed uh, so that five years from now, uh, we're not meeting another Jay trailer. Lawrence claims Trinity made certain design changes years ago to its end terminals and never officially notified the Federal Highway Administration, which by law it's supposed to do. And it's those changes, according to some safety experts, that are causing the guardrails to fail. It's failing in a way that's either causing the guardrail to spear into the vehicle, literally, and impact the occupants. Trinity filed a response to Trailer's lawsuit, saying it denies each and every allegation. And it points out that the lawsuit fails to describe what kind of guardrail and terminal was allegedly impacted, saying there is no allegations that the guardrail involved in the accident is an ET+, plus, the part of the guardrail in question. As for Jay, he believes he's one of the luckier accident victims. Lawsuit have been filed on behalf of others who were killed in car crashes that involved Trinity guardrails. I, I, for, I was fortunate enough, I, I survived. I'm damaged for life, but survived. The Federal Highway Administration says that while Trinity did inadvertently omit certain design details, the guardrail meets crash test criteria. They also tell us that they've received no complaints from states nationwide that they've ever had any issues with the guardrails that are in use now. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.